Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Week, the Calamity Campaign. We're glad you could join us. If this is your first time here, strap on. It's going to be a wild ride for uh, maybe one of us. <laughs> uh, and if you're a longtime viewer or a previous viewer, thanks for coming back. Tonight's episode is Calamity. Uh, we'll go ahead and get down to the particulars here in a very short time. But first, uh, let's do the rigmarole. So follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy some cool crap like uh, phone case, duvet cover, t-shirt, uh, I don't know, beach towel, throw pillow, shit like that, uh, go to our link down at the bottom of the page for our swag shop. Uh, also, thank you very much to Pirate Dog Dice. I might use Big Red Dice. I don't, I don't know. Uh, if you want some custom dice, go ahead and hit up Pirate Dog Dice at Twitter. Uh, see what they can do for you. And of course, if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like roses and dead fish or I don't know. Salt prairie flowers. Roses. Yeah, prairie flowers. Uh, mm -hmm. Odd Fish Games does Adventure Sense. Uh, give your game a scent. You know, it doesn't have to be putrid sewers. Uh, it can be something nice like uh, Rowdy Tavern. You know, <laughs> smells nice, smells great. Uh, they also make the Shine System. So if you want to learn how to write RPGs much more gooder than me, go ahead and pick up their Shine System. Also, the big news for Murder Hobo Inc. is, of course, our convention, our virtual online convention, MurderHoboCon.com, goes off August the 1st. It's a one-day charity event, all day long, games, seminars, a uh, couple of bands now. We've got a comedian, we've got a fortune-telling booth, we've got a photo booth. Folks, we got a lot of cool shit. Uh, go to MurderHoboCon.com. If you're a DMGM uh, presenter or seminar kind of person, sign up over at Tabletop. The link's there as well. Folks, that is enough of our spiel. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the folks who are going to make you laugh, cry, or think D&D is not for me. We will start with Rob. Rob, who are you and who do you play? Hi, I'm Rob. Um, you can find me at Cthulhu Rob and all the things, and um, you can find me here every other Saturday night playing Dave in this game. Um, once in a while, I pop up in a one shot, and uh, on August first, you can find me uh, at MurderHoboCon.com. Nicely done, David. You're up next. Hi, I'm David, and I play Ingve the Ravenkin on. Uh this show the calamity campaign and also i play zadar in cacophony uh you can also find me on between the roles and um yeah every once in a while i'll get a one shot but man that that's that's getting scarce man They're we're getting, getting popular yeah uh yeah and if you want to be on a one shot or on the talk show on tuesday since i forgot that part of the spiel m hobo <laughs> Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. Uh, next up is Scott. Scott, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing a monk. His name is Rakir, and he's very, very depressed. He doesn't know what he's doing anymore. He's just kind of lost, kind of wandering around. No, wait, no. Actually, he's not like that at all. Um, no, I, uh, I, uh, play, uh, I play Rakir. He's, uh, he's a human monk. Um, and then uh, I play on one shot sometime, although I haven't in a long time. Um, and then I also do some things on, um, on, on BTR and such as that. So I've been with this nice little group of, uh, of uh, hobos, uh, I guess, about a year or so now. Maybe even, maybe even two years by now. I haven't even yeah, I, two years I, by now. Yeah, time been, flies uh, when you're killing each other off. Yeah, I know it does. <laughs> and then I, my, uh, I, it's my fervent hope. There's a chance I may have to be out of the country, but uh, but to be running a uh, running a, a, a series of uh, games for the Murder Hobo Con Com, I have to see. There's a chance I'm out of town, but <clears throat> if I'm there, then I'm there. And it'll be old Scott. school. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'll I'll do uh, I'll do a five E. I'm not going to run one E. I'll run five E, but I'll run. Uh, 5v a port of either against the giants or uh maybe some, i'm thinking really i want to do against the giants i want to do a, a 5v against the giants that's what i want to do nice 
Oh, uh, look for G4 against the Lakers uh, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a good one. Uh, I understand they got a couple assholes on that team. So. Yeah. Uh, last but certainly not least is Jesse. Jesse, same question, different answers. Uh, I am Jesse. Uh, you can find me on all the fun social places uh, at J.R. Wooey. I play Azari, the uh, questioning whether or not he will have to kill his sister in a few moments. Uh, Leon and Ranger, uh, as well as uh, Coda, the uh, ever happy uh, storm, uh, storm cleric out there on uh, B-side whenever I get a chance. I play the one-shots. I will be at Murder Hobo Con. I have no idea what I'll be doing as I have a two-year-old and my life is a shit show. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Teach her how to fetch beer. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, folks, if you've seen this show before, you, you know what's happened. If you haven't, here's a brief recap. Uh, these guys are in stone bronze age world. Uh, there's no really written language. Uh, and these guys have got no currency to speak of, although... With each passing day and each new encounter, they are learning a little bit more. Rock here himself has taken to hoarding copper coins, which seems to grant some people a lot of persuasion power. He hopes that it will bestow it upon him. In our last session, these guys were hunting down the last of their tribe who was stolen by slavers. Uh, fortunately for Dave, his aunt uh, was saved a few episodes ago. Uh, unfortunately for Ingve, his father died a horrific death lasting 11 minutes because Ingve can't roll a die to save his ass. Last time, these guys went over a raging river with their newfound friend who hates them all named Peck Peck. Uh, Peck Peck has nearly died, I think, four times courtesy of these yeah. yahoos. Uh, anywhere from getting headbutted by a boar to crashing on the rocks at the bottom of the falls. Uh, now they find themselves on an island, a small island in the middle of this large river. Uh, they've climbed a set of stairs after Rakir has accidentally killed somebody, we'll say, uh, and they have found a large stone structure. In our world, it's known as a library. In their world, it's known as a large stone structure. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, the grounds of said area are repeat with uh, some friends, some neighbors, some of Peck Peck's friends and neighbors, and a few stragglers, uh, probably slavers. As these guys made their way... <laughs> serendipitously <laughs> guess you can call it that <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll say that uh they have opened the door and azari has peeked in to find his long lost beloved twin sister hovering three feet above the ground with opaque eyes and hands outstretched think of the messiah only not that cool uh as we rejoin or restart this uh, event azari you've leaned in you notice a uh, zombie-esque figure to the left, zombie-esque figure to the right, and in the middle of this large rotunda is your beloved sister who you have been hunting for for several weeks. Uh, looks like your quest has ended. Outside, uh, Dave, Ingve, and Rakir uh, await you to give them the bunt sign uh, <laughs> to come on in. Uh Ingve, Dave, Rakir, we'll start with you. Give me a perception roll, please. Ooh. Ooh, bonus, bonus. That's a 14 for me. Seven. And uh, that is an eight for Ingve. <laughs> 25. Uh, Dave and Rakir, oh, as, as you keep an eye out, uh, you notice the zombie-esque creatures drop to their knees and bow their head. Uh, there have been no auditory uh, anomalies. There have been no visual anomalies. For some reason, all these meandering shamblers have just dropped to their knees and kind of reside motionless. Hey, guys, look. 
<clears throat> that is odd. <laughs> how, how, how close is the nearest one? 50 feet. <clears throat> because you were quite successful in your roles. Ingve nearly impaled himself on a wrought iron bench, as I recall right. correctly. Yeah. Yep, that sucked. <laughs> so the nearest one is about 50 feet away. Just motionless. It is a <clears throat> female. And it is uh, somebody you know. It's just like a neighbor, a resident of Ba. Okay. And and where are we? Like right outside the the um, large stone structure, but not inside the door. Is that yeah? Correct. There are columns out on the outside holding up the facade, and you guys have climbed the well articulated uh, steps. Got it. Okay. How how large is the structure like? As far as feet wide and feet back, you think? It's about 60 by 120. It's a long rectangle. Many caves. Long rectangle. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, I, I would like to circle around it and see and see, you know, if there's any other entrances. Do you want to go to the left? Or do you want to go to the right? I'll go to the right. Uh, Dave and Ingve, looks like Rakir is going off to the right. What do you want to do? Damn it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go check out the back and see if there's a door in the back. Of course you are. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stay here with Azari. <laughs> Dave, go with Ruck here. Da, 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 da. Oh, man. With the party. <laughs> uh, Azari, as you take uh, note of everything in this room being very meticulous, and then spot your uh, twin sister hovering above the ground, uh, you feel a tug in your heart and you realize this is not good. What would you like to do? Um, I will uh, pull back in, pull back, back outside and look to see who's still out there. If, if, you know, if anybody's left or, I, I'm still here. Azari <laughs> slowly maneuvers outside the door, turns around and goes, Where are the other two assholes? Oh, no, no, bitch. <laughs> uh, you and Ingve are the only ones here. Ingve. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ingve, my, my sister is in there. She's hovering three feet above the ground, opaque eyes, and I believe she may be under some sort of possession. The same possession as that's striking no. the rest of the, the crowd? or No. Her possession is more the being in charge would be the best way to put it. Well, that complicates things. Uh, yes. Where, where are... are... <laughs> I mean, are we found her. Not yes. necessarily. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might not be her anymore. Uh, they, they circled around trying to find another entrance in. So, I don't I don't think they know what's inside. Then we are going to go in before they do. Okay. Follow me. All right. <laughs> TPK! TPK! <laughs> uh, and so it begins. Yeah. David Rakir, as you go around the right side, you have never seen a structure like this. It is uh, incredible. It's uh, almost as high as your mountain where you live in Ba. Uh, but there are uh, things that you have never seen before. Uh, rectangles that seem to look in through the wall. It's like the wall is invisible in these section windows. Uh, as you continue to meander around the right, you notice there are four, zomb or four zombie-esque individuals doing this, kneeling, 
uh, not moving. Uh, you can barely hear them breathe. Some of them are mouth breathers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were like that before. <laughs> no, uh, Azari, you also have Peck Peck. Um, oh. Ra- Rakir and Dave, you notice that at least one of them appears to be a Grubeck. Uh, the others, eh, they kind of look like Peck Peck. Oh. Hmm. And they're just like kneeling down like that, doing nothing mm-hmm. else? There's a lot of high grass. Uh, clearly, the uh, lawnmower has not been working here. There are no goats working the island. Uh, the area is overgrown on the back. As you continue down uh, the long structure, uh, you notice that it kind of rounds at the back. It doesn't square off. It rounds. I, I'm going to try my i mean <clears throat> okay so my character is not the smartest tool in the shed but what? He, he, has, what? he has but but he has pretty good wisdom and and insight is one of his one of his you know proficiencies i'm gonna try to figure out you know get, because it seems like you know we're missing something that this is all in the in the in a weird space and and so i'm gonna try to understand is there anything that that we're obviously missing here that you know that we need? I'm I'm kind of going for a gut check here. You know, what I'm saying sure. Give me this an doesn't check. make sense. You know, we're missing common sense. I believe is the words you're looking for. Common sense. I believe, okay, okay, I believe there's yeah. a tome inside there. I was about to say yeah, there's probably yeah. a gu- <laughs> no, it, there's a book we can read. That will exactly, look like this. That is exactly what it looks like. That uh, um, uh, that was only an eleven. Um, Dave, so no architecture. Can't 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 seem to. I probably can't put the puzzle together with that. Now you are still truly amazed at the miraculous appearance of such a splendid structure. I mean, you're you guys grew up in a mountain, right? Uh, this is no mountain. This is the penthouse of mountains, and it, it's just amazing. The windows, the gaps are above even Dave's head. Hmm. Uh, as you guys, I assume you continue we're, to make we're, your way we're back. We're continuing to move around, yeah. Hell yeah. Just as you get to the back, you see a, a few more sparse uh, zombie-esque creatures uh, kneeling in the tall grass. Uh, in the back where it rounds, the entire wall is invisible. You can see right through it. There's some kind of strange substance windows uh, that allows you to see into this structure and you see uh, rolls of things and small rectangles of different colors, uh, books and scrolls. Uh, There is a small seating area just outside and a pair of wrought iron doors at the, the tip of the rounded area, Dave. <laughs> I was doors. hoping there would be glass doors, so we're doors. Gonna just go boom. <laughs> Everybody, roll perception check. All right. I don't want to use the big green dice. Stop it. Put that down. Uh, perception. Ooh, natural twenty plus seven, uh, twenty-seven. Wow. <laughs> right. Can't beat that. Fourteen. Dave. Yeah. What was it? Dave? Dave. 16. Okay. Uh, Rock here, you were amazed at the architecture. Peck Peck is looking around trying to figure out who's going to kill him today. Uh, Dave, Ingve, and Azari, you hear a soft chime and notice the zombie s creatures rise up and begin to shamble towards this voluminous structure. Over to Azari and Ingve on the steps with Peck Peck. Uh, what do you want to do? Do we see the the them moving, the shamblers moving forward towards us? Well, towards the structure. Towards the structure. I, um, I didn't say towards you guys. You, I did not infer or you inferred, I did not imply. Ah, okay. Um, I say to Azari, I look and 
I see the shamblers moving towards the structure <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, if we can get in unnoticed, maybe we should take cover inside. We can that, step in, possibly block the doorway. I yeah, fuck Rook here and Dave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Peck Peck is all in on that plan. <laughs> all right, let's, let's well, step in. Um, I don't believe these things, no one's heard them speak. I just Eben, you know, that's, hmm. th it was just babble, pretty much. So. Well, Rook here and Dave will need to find another way in. If need be, we can let them in. They can use their words. Eben babbled the words, the light. So I would suggest we use ca caution, perhaps looking at any light source. Well said. Let's go, Peck Peck. Too bad, oh, David. I you have no idea. I die inside today. Uh, <laughs> you guys go in, and Azari, you notice that the two zombie-esque figures have moved into the foyer and are moving towards your floating sister. Uh, your sister is on a small plateau area, uh, about 10 feet up. Uh, there are stairs leading up to it, and then there are stairs branching off. Uh, she is in the center of the building. Above her is a glass dome uh, with some light coming down upon her because it is, I think, afternoon for you guys. Uh, so she is illuminated. Beyond her, now that you take better note, you notice that there's an invisible wall at the very back, uh, a good 60 feet away. Uh, okay. As you guys go in, do you want to try and secure the door? Hmm. Well, we also have to, if we have to run, we've got to be able to run too. <laughs> so, well, we'll, we'll leave the door <coughs> open. I'm guessing, I'm guessing these invisible walls that we can see through, we can make our way through them by force if necessary. Of course. Sure. We'll go with that idea. We'll go with let's, that. Let's go in and move to the side. Let these shamblers make their way not to and not disturb this okay ritual. just just observe what they do mm. and stay out of the way yeah cool. okay uh, <clears throat> so you're you're gonna let the shamblers come in yeah and we're gonna move to the we're gonna move to the left to the opposite side that dave and rakir were going we're gonna kind of move left sure um <clears throat> yeah Outside. Outside, Rakir and Dave. Rakir, still amazed by the architecture. Dave, you notice the shamblers are upright and moving, uh, and they seem to be moving towards the wrought iron doors. Uh, you have your choice. You may stop them, or you may step aside and let them pass. By this time, Rakir, you will also notice the same thing. You, however, you still will not have heard the are the doors open? Uh, they are not. Well, we should change that. I'm going to go try and open the doors. Okay, there are two wrought iron pieces of metal, flat pieces of metal there. Go ahead and give me an insight check. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no, that's wisdom. I'm okay. Uh, 13? Your curiosity gets the best of you, and you push down on this metal lever, and you notice that one of the wrought iron doors clicks and has some give to it. Uh, oh. The first shambler is coming up the steps of the escarpment. I'm going to push the door open. Cool. Uh, as you push the door open, uh, Rakir, uh, you watched him do this. Do you want to open the other door, or do you just want to say fuck him he's on his own don't leave your buddy hanging <laughs> that's you scott um so my basically my choices are um follow dave open the follow. other door uh 
hang back or go in? Uh oh. <laughs> well, th th there were some nice chairs there, right? I could sit oh, down. There, there's a patio. Yeah, you can you can sit down in the patio. Sit down in the patio. Hmm. Or follow Dave. Well, now Dave has just opened the door and pushed it in. All right, I'm I'm going to sit down and observe. I'm going to sit on the patio and observe it. This is far too much for me to all take in. This is far beyond anything I've ever seen, uh, and I don't understand it at all. So I'm sitting back and trying to learn as much as I can. Um, you you notice these shamblers are coming damn near out of the woodwork. Uh, you are seeing a, a few people you recognize from Ba, people who are dressed like Peck Peck, and uh, a few people who you uh, can safely assume might be Grubeck as well. Uh, as Dave opens the door, the first shambler goes inside, followed by several more. Uh, Rock here, some of them will pass right by you, not utter a word. Uh, their eyes kind of glazed over, but not opaque like uh, Azari's sister was. They are just in a trance, for lack of a better term. Can I, can I detect <clears throat> some way to find out if they have the stench of death upon them? I'm trying to find out, are they died and resurrected? That's, that's what I'm trying to understand. Uh, you know, being... Smell like know, nature. They smell like nature. So, okay, okay. That's what I was trying to figure out. All right, so they're not dead. Okay. And, and uh, now some of uh, the Ba townspeople have signs of torture. Uh, or damage. Uh, the Grubeck right. have no signs of injury whatsoever, uh, and some of the Peck Peck clan uh, also look like they've uh, taken a shot or two, but the stench of death, uh, the malignant aroma does not uh, hover over these people. Okay, okay. Now that's what I'm, I'm going to try to I'm, there's just something I'm not getting here. This is something sure. that makes sense. So I'm just I'm going to observe mm. and think about it until I get it. Sure. Inside Azari, Ingve, and Peck Peck, you notice uh, the shamblers have gone up the stairs and now form a three deep line about five feet away from your sister Azari. Dave, as you stand there. Uh, Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, hello, hello, uh, be in the doorman. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The other shamblers walk right past you. Uh, you, just like Rakir, noticed, uh, hey, I know that guy, hey, I don't know that guy, that guy looks like Peck Peck's uncle, uh, that fucker looks like a Grubeck, uh, I think he gave me that uh, ale, uh, and pretty soon they're all in there. As you peer in, <clears throat> there is a raised section that has stairs leading up to it. You, from behind, uh, see somebody hovering three feet. Uh, a big mane of hair. Uh, Azari, you guys had different colored hair though, right? Yeah, she's got uh, classic like golden lion fur. Okay, so you see somebody with a mane similar to Azari, but it is not Azari that you know of. Uh, and then two sets of stairs jut out. So this main area, uh, consider it like a librarian's uh, nook, uh, has stairs going up, stairs going up, stairs going up to a second level. Uh, the transparent glass ceiling is a rotunda above her, and there's just a glimmer of light uh, as she just hovers effortlessly above. Uh, Azari Ingve perception, Dave perception. Okay. Nice. Uh, 19, 26. 19. Oh, the light must be dim 11 for <laughs> Ingve. Ingve is soaking up the atmosphere. Uh, Peck Peck is soaking up the atmosphere. Dave, uh, you're slightly taller than most of these people. And, and just, just beyond, you notice somebody with the darker mane, Azari, from your vantage point, uh, you see Dave. <laughs> I mean, he's, oh. he, is, he is unmistakable. Uh, he does not appear to be shambling. Okay. Uh, I will... You do not see Rock here, though. Okay. 
Okay, the one I'm worried about, I can't see. Right. Um, okay, <laughs> Wait. I will. Uh, I will kind of wave at Dave, like from the distance, like with. I mean, since Azari <laughs> six eight, you know, with line for oh, wave, he'll start. Azari will wave, like not, not like hey over here, more like <laughs> just, just raising his hand and kind of. <laughs> uh, the uh, shamblers take no notice of this. Okay. Uh, Dave, you see the same thing. Uh, you see Azari. Shane Seeing Azari wave over. at me, I'm going to try and make my way toward him. Uh, now, there are three deep on your side as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rock here. Uh, it's beautiful out here. Do they elbow aside? I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's peaceful. I'm excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Rock Pardon here, me, you, Dave, if, coming through. Pardon me, Dave, coming through. <laughs> if you had a lemonade, life would be perfect, Rock here. <laughs> Remember when Rock here was an adventurer? That's what <laughs> Farms does. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, all right, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if if I still have the will to do so, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stand up and. Um, I think I've observed all that I can get, and uh, I'm going to go inside and see what I can observe inside there. Sure. Uh, you go in. Uh, you see Dave uh, like a bull in a china shop headed for three rows deep of shamblers. You also spot the golden mane of Azari's sister, whom you're probably quite familiar with. I think you guys were prom dates. Uh, she, however... Oh, yeah is hovering three feet above the ground. Oh my uh, God. And clearly that's gonna be a problem. Uh, go ahead and roll perception check right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a four. I'm still just. All, all you see is uh, Alita's butt. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just focused in on that. Uh, in on that tail, area. tail wagging in the background. That, that's yeah. right. <laughs> like a king. Uh, yeah. uh, Dave, Dave is going to be Dave. He's going to say "fuck this shit" and start to move towards Azari. Azari, you see him starting to move towards the crowd. Uh, everybody, perception check. This time, ah, ah, says, ah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what do, oh, well, geez. then Backpack well. and Dave are on the same page. <laughs> 14. Uh, 18. 26. Everybody but Rock here sees three beams of light coming from gemstones uh, that kind of hold up the uh, ceiling. Uh, it looks like there should be four, <laughs> but there's only three. Uh, they connect and shoot down and just envelop uh, Azari's sister in light. Uh, her eyes blink forward, still opaque, looking at Ingve, Peck, Peck, and Azari. Oh, shit. And points oh, to is up. <laughs> yeah. for Azari. Be gone for she is mine. Now the voice escaping your sister's body is not female. It is deeply male and elderly. Uh, it, it sounds as if it were like Gizbob, but it's not Gizbob. Okay. It, it is an older male uh, and the tone is quite menacing. There oh, is no Dana, okay. there's only Zool. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Azari will look at that, pull out his bow, pull out his bow, and growl. You fucked with the wrong house, and uh, he'll point. Uh, he'll point an arrow, uh, or he'll knock an arrow and point it at the gemstones. Yeah, they're they're not big, but go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see. Let me check one thing first. Yeah, it better be a good shot. <laughs> it's a pretty good shot. I hope. I shouldn't have said that. I jinxed myself. You can do it. <laughs> I'll look at one thing first. Oh, 
Damn, it's a creature. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're firing a shot at the gemstone. Okay, 18 plus 23 to hit. Uh, your aim is true, and you strike it, dislodging uh, both the gemstone and ricocheting the arrow. Dave, Rakir, Azari, all three of you roll a d20. Azari, if you match one of them, you're going to hit one of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 10. Oh. <laughs> 11. You, oh, you almost clip Dave with the ricocheting arrow and almost get Rakir with the gemstone. <laughs> uh, you hit somebody next to Dave as he is uh, trying to shoulder rub through. Dave, clearly uh, something is going on here as, as the light flickers and stops. Uh, Dave was in the process of getting through and hearing that voice, he's going to attempt to get to her and tackle her out of the air. Because mm. something's got a hold of her. Dave's going to take it away from her, take her away from it. Sure. Nice. Uh, as you push your And he's going through, to do it angrily. Sure. Uh, give me three strength checks first, please. Wow. Uh, that will be a 22 and a 19. And, oh, that one's a 20. Fair enough. Uh, you just bull in a china shop through these things and launch yourself at Azari's sister uh, in a uh, flying a tackle, sexual harassment kind of motion. <laughs> Hell uh, yeah. HR ahead. will hear about this. <laughs> As you launch yourself, uh, Rakir, okay, fair enough. Uh, Ingve, what are you going to do? <laughs> Sit back and watch these assholes. <laughs> uh, Azari, what are you going to do? I'm going to dislodge another uh, gemstone. Ingbe is going to, of course, be the healing bot, heal bot for this. So he's just, he's observing, see who he's got to he say. can heal what's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 17. That's a 22 to hit. Uh... Uh, that one barely hits as well. Uh, Dave, Rakir, and Azari roll a d20 again. Eight. <laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> Seventeen. Eight. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what, Dave? Let's have a little fun with this. You and I are going to roll a d12 if I beat you uh, you have been knocked askew and will miss Azari's sister. <laughs> Beat a 12. Seven. Uh, how much damage do you do to uh, Dave? Half damage, please. Okay. As you okay. shoot him in the ass right. as he I'll launches half himself. Half. Eight points, which will be four. Which will be two. Which will be four, which will be two. <laughs> Dave, see if you can hit Azari's sister. Okay. Uh, I'm just uh, saying. Great shot, am, 17. I am not pulling the arrow out of his ass. <laughs> 17 connects. You tackle uh, the Leoness uh, and knock her into the crowd on the other side. She ah, is cushion. Now crowd surfing, uh, <laughs> baby. Uh, Rakir, you have done what you wanted to do. Ingve, you have done what you wanted to do. Azari, you have done what you wanted to do. And Dave, you've done what you've wanted to do. All you hear is, um, God, I can't remember who it was. You've all seen Fifth Element, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Uh, the guy uh, who was always with Jackie Chan. Oh, uh, Ruby Rudd. Ruby yeah. Rudd. You hear yeah. the Ruby Rudd. <laughs> and he heads right for the door. <laughs> Peck Peck has got none of this bullshit going on. Come Come That's the best show I ever did. Uh, everybody roll initiative now. Silly little hunter. Oh, baby. 16. 16. Now I roll a natural 20. Yes. I have 23. Azari is 16. No, wait. Sorry. I get a plus two. A plus three. Uh, nine. Nine. Wow. Uh, 
Fair enough. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I rolled a 17. Uh, so as Dave knocks me to the ground, I am going to try and poke out your eyes. Oh, seems uh, fair. Uh, <sighs> you have dragged uh, Azari's sister into this crowd. It is a general melee. The zombies are not reacting very fast at all. She turns around and you see the large opaque eyes, the anger on her face, and she moves to gouge out your eyes. Uh, 23. <laughs> that definitely hits. Uh, I am going to need a wisdom save from you, please. Oh, I'm good at that. You better be, because you're about you're to gonna need it. 18. Uh, you do not age. And you are not afraid, and you take a lot of damage. Uh, 17 hit points of damage, and your skin. What kind of damage? Withering. Oh, Ow. crap. Ow! <laughs> oh, Dave, no. no resist withering. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> this is Damn you, good. Kool Aid Man. Damn you. Uh, the good news is, Azari and David is now your. Shit, I can't do math. Uh, while he does his math, Azari, you're up. Uh, the light is clearly dislodged. There is one more gemstone in there. Um, but if you want to shoot at it, you can. Uh, your sister's been tackled to the ground. Uh, her hideous visage has attempted to scare the shit out of Dave. Um, okay, so the light's not coming down anymore. The light of Zartha is gone. Okay. Uh, I will run up uh, to... Dave and uh, my sister and I will or I will try and uh, tackle my sister and uh, plead to her Aleth Aletha stop this this is madness uh, hit her okie dokie uh, what do I use just mine oh, uh, Dex. You can use Dex or Strength, either one. Okay. Um, so that'd be a 18? Yep. Uh, you dogpile onto your sister. Okay. And then now I'm we just are being... on OnlyFans. <laughs> Step, bro. Step, bro. <laughs> Point her to the dryer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're on top pleading with her. Uh, oh, and you know what? I went out of order. Uh, Ingve, you're up. Okay. Uh, the shamblers, what are they doing? Are, are they reacting or are they going? Every shambler in there has tipped their head back and are, are silently screaming, but light is going directly towards the opening of the rotunda, but they are not attacking. They're not posing a threat right now. Okay. Not in your opinion. Not in my opinion. <laughs> Not in my popular opinion. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get my way to Dave to see 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 what's going on with it. I saw him get injured, so it's like I'm there. Well, you so see, Dave take a knee. <laughs> Dave, you see Azari, uh, and you see uh, and all you can hear is Ruby Rudd behind you. Ah! <laughs> Peck is shitting himself. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to delve into the mosh pit of bodies? Is that what I'm hearing, Ingve? Uh yeah, I try to <laughs> maneuver my way to, to Dave as best as I can. So. Sure, Rock here. Uh you see Dave uh in his Hall of Fame pose as he tackles. Uh, Azari's golden mane obstructing your view of her buttocks. Uh, you see Dave land and you hear him scream in pain. You see Azari jump in and you see Ingve supermaning it up. <laughs> uh, Meanwhile, you Peck Peck says, ah! That's about 20 feet up. Uh, I can't, the, the uh, bookshelves and all the cubby holes, I can't get purchased. <laughs> This circular area is more like a uh, courthouse. You can go up and go up if you want. Because there's okay. two flanking stairs. Yeah, I'll go up the stairs. 
Gotcha. Fair enough. Uh, top of the order, uh, Ingve. Let's do this right this time. You're up. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I crossed <laughs> to Dave. Uh, Azari's sister is the only threat that that I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Azari's got control of her right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll say that. We'll we'll say that. Okay. <laughs> I, I am you, not going to see uh, liver spots growing all over Dave's arm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, um, or actually I, it's on his face. Cause she grabbed his face. Holy shit. <clears throat> I don't know if I can, can heal that. So yeah, I am going to make my way there. I don't want to attack Azari's sister. So, so I'm just doing my best to get to Dave. I mean, I can, I can, try a healing word to see if that does anything but in my mind i know this may be futile seeing seeing this make uh two strength saves as you okay. try to maneuver your way through everybody i just assumed azari plowed through so okay strength yeah. saves okay checks checks oh checks Sorry. oh okay that's all right uh let's see uh the first is 13 Okay. 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 Uh, the second is 18. Yeah, you push your way successfully past them. Uh, Azari, uh, uh, is it Aletha? Yeah. Is that, okay. Yeah. Azari, Aletha, and Dave are on the ground, ground fighting. You can see the opaque eyes. You can see the just sneer of anger on her face. Uh, and you, it looks like she is going to go after her brother from the looks of it. So are you going to lay on hands or what are you doing with Dave? Uh, I'm, I'm going to, um, I'm going to just cast healing word just to see if, if anything goes. Sure. So. Uh, I, I, th I think it'll work. Okay. All right. I, you know what? I'm going to say it'll work. Uh, I, I really don't like how I did this stat block, but that's fine. Is that, uh, so, uh, Dave heals for, for nine points if the healing awesome. word works. Okay. That works. Uh, Azari, you're, uh, you're trying to break her out of whatever it is and you see her, uh, just try and slash you across the face. Uh, 17 plus five is 22. That'll hit. Uh, give me DC 13 verse or DC 13 wisdom, please. And you're also going to take slashing damage. Uh, 19, 19 for a save. Uh, you are not feared, nor are you old. Uh, however, you wither for 15 hit points. Oh, uh, Jesus. Yeah, uh, it hurts, don't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's painful. Fuck. Uh, bringing us to the 16s, Dave and Azari. You are ground fighting. Ingve is hovering over you. You can yell out, get your balls out of my face. Get your uh, balls out of my face, <laughs> man. And Rakir is uh, climbing the stairs. Uh, it looks like he is coming in off the top rope. <laughs> Tag me in. Ah. Well, who are we tied, Azari? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Knock her unconscious. <clears throat> yep. Dave gonna punch her in the head. I, I hope it's a critical. <laughs> I'm I'm ra I'm raging. This is gonna be terrible. Uh does a nineteen twenty three hit her? Easily. Okay. So that's the D four for punching. Um that's gonna be plus my strength of four. Uh, modifier of four and um on top of that there's going to be one d6 plus one radiant so that's uh uh two hor uh seven points of uh bludgeoning damage and uh seven points of radiant damage okay uh azari at the same time what are you doing azari's gonna turn and switch positions to try and like get her into a rear naked choke and just like try and Choke her unconscious. Yeah, just like the old days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold her so I can hit her more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I, to- uh, I told you not to take my Star Wars figures. <laughs> go, go ahead. I was always dad's favorite bitch. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and hit her. Okay. That is a... Uh, oh, nice. Eight, three, Actually, we, we need to grapple, I suppose. So uh, D20 plus your strength modifier. Okay. So that's a three... Uh, 21. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get her in the headlock. And I'm just going to choke her out. Restrict the airways until she passes out. This will all be over soon. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, Rakir, you have high ground. What would you like to do? Well, I would, I would really like to see where that other gemstone was and seeing if that may be uh, maybe having to do something with it because uh, that's what seemed to start this whole thing off. I'd like to make my way, you know, <clears throat> if I have to climb up over everything, if I have to get up on the walls and find leverage to where he was shooting at. You said there were three. It looks like there should have been four, but you know there were three. So I'm going to um, – one got knocked down. The other got knocked down. And I'm going to try to make my way to where the third one is. I don't know what I have to roll to try to climb up around on the walls or if there's any nooks or things or something I can do. Dex check. Okay. Okay. If you fail, you fall into the pile. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) One of us. 12 plus 3 equals 15. Uh, you're a little bit unsteady on your feet, but you managed to grab a hold of some, you don't know what it is, but it's molding. Uh, now give me a strength save or a strength check to go ahead and pry that gem out. Okay. That's only an eight plus one is that's only a nine. It's in there pretty good. So you'll have to try it again. Uh, top of the order, Ingve, uh, Zari, uh, has some withering damage. Dave still has some withering damage. Uh, Azari is choking out his sister as Dave pummels the shit out of her. <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, yeah. Uh, does it look like she's going out? Like it's a normal Thursday night in Ba. <laughs> <laughs> does it look like she's 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 prom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> prom night. Oh. Yeah. Uh, does it look like she's she's gonna go? Like she's gonna pass out? Hey, give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, this, not this, with that. <laughs> this, this how Duff do it. <laughs> this how Duff do it. Uh, ten. So. Uh, you can't tell. Can't tell. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Um, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna summon a spirit totem. And uh, the healing uh, spirit of the raven is going to come, and it's just going to tick and all that for it. Um, let's see. Uh, the spirit totem, it is going to, uh, let's see. Uh, summon a spirit, and let's see. Sorry. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be healing, so it's going to do like uh, 1d6 per round. Or something like that, including to Azari's sister. Oh shit! Yeah, she's an ally, huh? Yep. What? No. What, well, she's a sister, so. But like uh, it or not, it's family. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, actually, it, it says the spirit. I can choose who it targets. So, sure. so of course, Dave, Azari, and uh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> they also have a they have advantage on ability checks too. That's I reflavored the, nice. the unicorn spirit. It's the raven spirit. So sure. Uh, roll your d6 for their uh, healing. Okay. Uh, six. I actually roll. Oh, nice. Six. Nice. So. Heal me. Thank uh, you. Dave Azari Ingve perception Ooh. check. Uh, 14. 18. Uh, 15. Uh, Ingve and Azari, uh, you see the tortured scream of Aletha, uh, and then just a wisp, wisp of smoke, 
Smoke? Uh, exits her mouth and her head tips back. Uh, Azari, Dave, you're up. Uh, Azari, you feel her go limp. Dave, Dave's finish her! <laughs> <laughs> Dave, stand up. Dave's standing up. Azari, what are you going to do? Um, She's like a, a limp rag doll at this point in time. Shaking off the rage. Okay. Uh, oh, man. This is tough. I don't know if I want to... stealing dice, you. I will... Um, Surely your sister had at least 14 hit points, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, we could hope. <laughs> I will, uh, like, she's limp. Can I, I'm going to check her to see if she's still, like, if her pull, like, try and check and see if she's still, like, living or if she's, like, on the cusp of death. Medicine check. Okay. And we have advantage on those types of checks, you said? Yes. With your, okay. Yes. Yes, ability checks and yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, 21. Uh, her breathing is shallow. Her pulse is very faint. Uh, there is a considerable contusion welling up on the side of her face, <laughs> courtesy of Dave blasting her. Uh, she is not looking hot at all. Uh, okay. You lift the eyelid and you can see the chest nut eyes i'm assuming i don't know yeah what color eyes are. Uh, chestnut colored eyes uh have returned okay i'm going to uh i'll spend my turn like stabilizing her sure uh the uh zombie-esque shamblers still uh, with the light shooting out of it uh you hear everybody hears the door slam uh, Ruby Rudd, aka Peck Peck, is out the door. Fuck He's this gone. He is Good gone. Man. Good uh, man. Ah. Here. Give me that Good strength riddance. check if you want to try it one more time. Yes. <clears throat> now that was a twelve plus. I think that's just a. I think it's just a pull on. That's. Yeah, that's just a. That's a thirteen then. You twist it, uh, remembering lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Uh, it pops free. The molding, the decorative molding, gives way, and you drop down onto the landing. As you stick the landing, you look up, and there is an ashen gray figure standing there. He wears unusual clothing and appears to be uh, almost opaque. Uh, he has tufts of hair along the side, uh, no hair on the top, and he wears just a slight, uh, you know, what do you call that? It's just goatee. This. Goatee. Patch. Or... No, it's the pad. The soul, soul patch. Soul patch. Soul patch. Yeah. Soul patch. And he it's looks. The great dungeon master, watch out. He looks at you, Ruck, here, and he gets this wild look and does this. Use your ninja-like reflexes, Rick here. No, Rick here. He does the no, touch your junk, Rick here. You. Just, just does the Scooby-Doo swing and a miss. Uh, <laughs> ghost. Uh, <laughs> ghost. <laughs> Must be old man perfect. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it, it's an old white guy. Those guys are the worst, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those fuckers are responsible. It's a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. It looks like Jeff Sh Sessions right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, to, good. To, I was to thinking Mitch McConnell. Now, I'm gonna get you. Your, to all of you Republicans I'm you. out there, I'm not sure how you found us, but you are in the wrong place. <laughs> you're place. in the wrong place. Uh, Inge, you're up. Uh, it appears as though uh, Azari is attempting to stabilize his sister. You can now see the contusion, the blood loss. Uh, she, the shallow breathing. Uh, apparently, Dave really gave her what for. Okay. Uh, yeah. Shot yeah. Uh, again, the spirit is there. So uh, says, five, 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 out, Dave, out. five points of healing, and I see that she's under control and her eyes change. I'm going to make her one of the allies, too. So she's going to get five points. Give me a perception check to see if you noticed her eyes. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm uh, assuming. Uh, uh, 17. 
Yep, her eyes are normal. Okay. They feel good now. The healing spirit bathes her in the light of this <laughs> Baptist library. Uh, up on the deck, Rock here, uh, old man Perkins uh, is going to try and bitch slap you again. Uh, 17. That will hit me. Give me a uh, wisdom uh, save, please. Oh, you can't hear that over the silent screaming. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, you got lucky there. No, you did not. That's 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So what um, I have um, w um, wisdom DC, right? Mm -hmm. Wisdom saving throw. Yep. Saving th now that finally was good. That looks to be a 19. Uh, you do not age and you are not fearful. But you get hit for 16 withering Oh, jeez. Oh, Fuck. And what? Holy poopity wow. poop. <laughs> and are pushed back into the wall. You stand alone with uh, old He's man. Father time over here. He's going to touch you. Uh, Dave and Azari. Show uh, us on the cadaver where he touched you, Rick, here. <laughs> <laughs> Will. I will. It was. It, it was right. It, it was right. Yeah. There's a motion like this. I, I would. Uh, uh, Dave and Azari, give me perception checks because you guys are fucking around with the sister. Uh, nineteen. Uh, sixteen. Ruby Rudd is up above you as well as Rock here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you guys look up and a humanoid male form is currently doing battle with Rakir. He is upstairs. Uh, those two stairs that jutted out kind of zigzag and they go up to a second level. Uh, Rakir okay. is up against one wall and the translucent individual is right next to him. Without uh, hesitation, Dave's going for a javelin. Okay. <laughs> Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> It's uh, Dave. It's not a one. It's a uh, 20, dirtily. Damage? On it. I'm not raging currently, so we don't get any shiny lights. Um, <clears throat> 10. Piercing. Sure. Uh, it goes right through this uh, corporeal body. Uh... You think it did some damage? You think? Uh, Azari, you also noticed old man Perkins up top. What do you want to do? Uh, I will cast uh, <coughs> I'll cast Hunter's Mark on that creature. Mm -hmm. um, a bonus action, cast Hunter's Mark, and then I'll turn and fire an arrow at it. Um, that's a uh, 17 to hit. Hit. Okay. Yeah, I, I needed to add Dave's doing Dave normally. So after the javelin and went, he was right behind it. Plus four. Uh, so that'd be uh, 14 points of damage on it. Uh, much like Dave, uh, your arrow goes through it. Uh, you think it caused some damage? You aren't really sure. Uh, okay. Rakir, you are on a figure eight. Uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, a narrow railing goes the length of the building. The center does the crisscross, and that is where old man Perkins is. You are up against Shout the wall me. in between the figure eights. You may hoof it left or right. You may jump, but it will cause some damage uh, down onto the pile of light lovers pizza below. Uh, or you can uh, try and kick the shit out of this guy. Um, no, I'm going to um, use one of my uh, key points and use a bonus action to uh, to take the disengage. Okay. Okay. Uh, disengage. <clears throat> and then I will move left um, to my maximum movement away from him. And um, I, I'm going to do my best to, uh, as, as an action, to use object and smash these gemstones when I get 40 feet away onto the, onto the ground beneath me. 
because I don't know what these things are. I, I, I don't know what a gemstone is to, to save a poop stone. You know, sure. I think they're like glass reflecting things, whatever. Maybe, maybe it, if it reflects, maybe it's light. Maybe I can shatter it and maybe that'll make this whole thing go away. No, that's a good call. Top of the order, Ingve. Uh, you also notice uh, Landis Evermore, the ghost up top, uh, and you see uh, Count Rugula there running for the hills. <laughs> four, four points to those who are injured, and as my action, I see old man Jenkins, and I am going to summon a moonbeam on top that mother. <laughs> So he's going to have to do a constitution save, 14. Nope, fails. Okay. Uh, he is going to be engulfed by ghostly flames and he is here uh, for searing pain. <laughs> Seriously, three points. So, but if he's a shapeshifter or whatever, he's knocked out, but he, this beam of light is on him. So each round I can roll damage. Again. He can make a constitution save again so cool uh the moonbeam hits him ah! <laughs> oh, crap. and he launches himself into the air and right as he goes after six azari he disappears Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd who go? <laughs> uh, Rakir, uh, you're up. Go ahead. Or, or actually, uh, Dave and Azari are up. My apologies. Uh, Dave and Azari. Azari, you saw him just launch himself. Uh, uh, older, bald guy wearing strange clothing. Just right as he gets to you, disappears. Uh, Dave, you also saw him headed right for Azari. Uh, he was Dave's kind of disappointed. I look at Azari. No, 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 no. You've gone already. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Azari, you're uh, muted. You're muted, Azari. That was a great idea. Though. That was a great idea. <laughs> my, my daughter was screaming a minute ago, so I muted it. Um, no need to hear the wails of the dying all the time. Uh, so um, we got since, eleven minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, to kill. Since uh, since I cast Hunter's Mark on it, um, I'm gonna see if I can deduce Track where it. where it went. Yeah. Uh, behind you. Like it's right behind me. It went behind you somewhere. Okay. Uh, I'll use. I'll I'll try and do a perception check to try and find them or try and find this uh rakir is out of the picture okay Inve, dave and azari you notice all of the shamblers slump to the ground oh joy um uh, uh looking around azari your perception check uh well, Peck Peck's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, is my sister conscious or unconscious? Uh, with those Still hit unconscious. Points, she's conscious. Okay. Because uh, she's got, what, nine hit points back? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to pick her up and we're going to all exit the building. We're going to exit the building. Exit stage left. <laughs> uh, Dave, what about you? I'll go with him. So as so we're disappointed. As we're going, um, I do. My character speaks, uh, can speak and read six languages. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's gonna kind of look at the books as he goes by, like he remembers it because when he grew up, instead of learning from books, his father taught him by like writing in the sand, and he'd have to write the same things kind of learning that language he's gonna look and see if they look anything like stuff he had uh anything interesting as he walks away give me an uh, investigation he... check okay uh investigation 15 
Uh, there is a large colorful tome on uh, the right, or actually the left, uh, would have been on the right as you entered, uh, and it's on a uh, book platform. Uh, you can notice it because it's got really nice colorful pictures in it. Uh, Rakir, up on top, you have two stones in your possession. You throw them on the ground. You try and stomp on it. Give me a strength check. You can do it, Rakir. We believe in you. Can in do you. It. Eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wreck shit. Uh, they were rounded, so your foot slips, uh, <laughs> and you feel a twinge because you've still got some of that wind, some of that withering damage. It's like, son of a bitch. Sciatica. Uh, <laughs> you didn't roll a one and pitch yourself over. So, you know, uh, I'll give you another shot this round if you want to try and do it again. Can, can I tell what they're made of? Have I ever seen anything like this before? I don't, I don't think so. Nope. Wow. So cool. You want to try and break it again? Um, yeah. I'll, I'll, I will try one more time. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. I'm going to have to heal him, ain't I? <laughs> it shatters and leaves. No, not 20 that hand. time. Uh, not Ooh. 20 plus one, 21. Ooh. You bring your foot down, you hear the stones collide against each other, and you hear this weird grating noise. Uh, both stones have fractured into smaller pieces. They are no longer the spherical look that they were. Uh, no more Aggies. Uh, these marbles are busted. You have successfully done it. As you turn around, you notice... I have gotten rid of old man Jenkins. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I am your leader. <laughs> <laughs> and you find yourself on the second level of, it's a library, but you, I don't know, what the hell this is. Yeah. Uh, and you notice Azari, Ingve, and Dave are filing out, uh, Azari taking his sister in both arms, walking out. Uh, the shamblers are... Uh, are they waking up? Yep. Uh, 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 but you are on high ground. Uh, you have nobody with you, uh, and you can see the length and breadth of this large uh, building. As you do so, you notice uh, at the far end on the second level, so the rounded end. At the second level, <clears throat> there is a circular wooden thing, uh, and it's got etch marks in it. Burn it. Burn I'm it. Go and all the books. <laughs> 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 uh, this, this, is, no. this is interesting i'll uh i'll move towards move towards the etch marks move towards the etch marks uh give me investigation or intelligence check your choice or yeah. no wisdom i'll give you wisdom okay that's your stronger suit <laughs> it wouldn't have helped <laughs> no no that's that's a two uh yeah so i'm gonna be as I, I I just can't figure out what it is, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna look around best I can to uh, to a to a you know see what this stuff is. I, I mean it's just I, I, I'll even I, I'll even yell out say, "Hey guys, I, I think I found something up here." Hey you guys! <laughs> uh, nice. As you do so, Azari, you solemnly are carrying your sister out. Uh, Ingve, are you staying with Dave and Azari, or are you going to go see what Rakir is yelling about after he saved your asses by killing the ghost? After, yes, yes, by killing the ghost. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look because I noticed Grubeck among this. What are those fuckers doing? Because I've got a grudge. That Dave's question. That, that is a good question. Uh, I've got Grubeck, 40 feet of rope. Grubeck, Ba, and Meto uh, all are disoriented. Uh, they seem to be coming out of a trance very slowly. Uh, they aren't real sure what is going on. Um, tie them up. Tie them up. Yeah. So uh, they they will be. You will have advantage against any attack. Uh, and there are currently uh, six Grubeck here. 
Oh, Dave got this. Dave is walking out with Zari. Dave don't got shit. <laughs> Ingve, what do you want to do? I am looking warily at these Grubeck and I notice Rakir and I'm just like, I turn to Zari and Dave. It's just like, let me go see what he's what he's found and just stay alert. The group are waking check up. Check what jackass is done. Exactly. <laughs> Here, so I'm gonna I'm, push this. What happens if I do this? I'm gonna I'm gonna go up there to Rakir. <laughs> okay. Uh, the shamblers are all still disoriented quite a bit. Uh, Azari and Dave, uh, as you guys walk towards the exit, uh, Azari, you have spotted the book. Your arms are full. Uh, you can alert Dave, see if he wants to grab it, or just get the hell out of Dodge. Your, your choice. Who wants to go first, Dave or Azari? Uh, go, Dave, Azari. Go. Oh, okay. Uh, so my sister's conscious. I'll look at her. It's like, Aletha, can you walk? Uh, 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 uh. She is just as disoriented as the Shamblers. So she, okay. while she um, is healed, as are the shamblers, yeah, uh, she is disoriented. She's still a hot mess. Okay, you can you can d twelve against me to see if she can limp her way out. Um, I'm going to. Uh, we're near the bookcase and everything, so pretty much we're like on the way out. It's uh, it's kind of wings. It's like okay. an abbey. Uh, oh, okay. The, there are two book stands. One is empty uh, on your right. Uh, the other one has that big, colorful book. Okay. Um, what is Kama Sutra? <laughs> so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to... Um, uh, and and there we're kind of away from a lot of the shamblers at this point, right? All of the shamblers are in the center of the building. Okay. Uh, and you can hear the, the moans, the groans, the just the uh disorientation going on okay uh, and, and you're gonna... seeing it in your arms as well okay i'm gonna sit my sister <clears throat> lay my sister down gently on the ground <laughs> <laughs> don't believe yeah good luck um and then i look at dave and i'm gonna tell him it's like we're going to go take care of these grew back and <laughs> happy now crunch and then the we, uh, <laughs> and then I'm pretty much going to go. Uh, I'm going to start moving, and as soon as I like the first group back, I see I'm pretty much like they're pretty since they're on the ground coming through. I'm going to be pretty much walking by and <laughs> kicking them in the face to not curb stomping them out. Sure. Uh, Dave, can I pick up two of them? Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if they're close together. Ooh, well, hey, got to get that in the dice box. Uh, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> you can get one of them. Okay. I'll just pick one up and smash it on the ground. Ooh. Oh. Rock here, as you yell, hey, 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 check this out. Mm -hmm. Old man Perkins reappears right in front of you. He is going to Flashy with his left hand this time. Oh, goodbye, Rick here. 12 plus 5, 17. Give me your wisdom save again, please. That's uh, 16 plus 2. It's an 18, DC 18. Are you fucking kidding me? Three ones and a four. Seven <laughs> hit points of damage. Uh, yeah. You are not afraid. Are you down? Down. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't no. get any of that healing up there because I was upstairs. Oh, that's true. That's true. I didn't get any of that healing. He's okay. out of range. Okay. Uh, well, Rock here. Uh, it's your turn. First death save. Uh, okay. What? What do I need to do to do a death D save? D twenty, ten or above. No additives, just straight up roll. No. One down. Uh, uh, Ingve. Back. Perception. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, that would be a twenty, not natural. 
Uh, you saw Old Man Jenkins reappear, and you saw Rakir fall. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I can clearly see him. Is he corporal, or is he incorporal again? Uh, the Corporeal. Ghost? Yeah, the uh, ghost. He's a ghost. Uh, he's a ghost. You cannot see Rakir because he's hit the deck. Okay. Fuck. And all okay. you hear is crunch, smack, Dave beat Grubeck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh yeah, this is this is not good. All right. Um Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to run up and just uh try to grab <laughs> uh Rakir and um You'll be able to run up, but uh, old man Jenkins will be between you and he. Okay. Uh, so as you run up the stairs, you are now on the same level. You see Rakir in a heap, uh, and you see the uh, old man Jenkins. Oh, your friend, he is dead, and he disappears. Uh, well, since he's not between me and him anymore, I'm going to run in... Uh, your turn is over. <laughs> oh, yes. I took one minute. <laughs> hey, Mazzari, you're up. <laughs> See, that's the, the, I'm on my the, way. The initiative order. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> on. on the groove. Elf is on the way. I'm going to keep All moving. Uh, uh, any Grubak nearby? Uh, yeah, you guys have only dealt with two. Okay. Uh, I will find the next Grubak, and I will... Um, End his career. <laughs> hey! Whoa. <laughs> Four grew back down. Uh, the others, the mm. Tech Tech clan and your people, uh, are now focused. And they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> They have no idea what is going on. Rock here, give me that second death save. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are really trying to be one with death, aren't you? Yeah. At least it was was one. Boy, you're going to get a good death education, man. Yeah. You're going to have to give Rakir a lesson on Crow in a minute here. Yeah. Rem remember oh. Flatliners there, Keeper Sutherland? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you fucking nightmares. He's Kevin Tom. Bacon. Oh, what the uh, heck? <laughs> <You know? laughs> Today is not order. a good day to die. Ingve, you're there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my movement, get get to Rakir, and I am going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on him. Um, and I'm going to go second level on it. So... Uh, it's gonna it's gonna heal him for thirteen points. Oh. Rock here. What is your biggest fear? Probably Azari. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you fall through the inky darkness, your body twists and contorts, and you manage to move your head forward, and you see a giant form of Azari. Reaching up, opening his maw, and getting ready to eat you, and then <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, and you see Inge, nice. are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, down below, I was so close, Inge. So close. <laughs> you are almost there, man. <laughs> Dave, as you crank on the neck of it, you stand up. And you hear strange words uttered in a voice you don't understand. Nice job. And you think, I think I've heard this before. Uh, and you turn to see old man Jenkins has taken over the form of one of the Peck Peck tribe and he slashes you. Oh. 14 plus 5, 19. That hits. Uh, give me your wisdom save. Not 20. Nice. None of you fuckers got the age this time. <laughs> uh, that's a six. Uh, that's five, and that's a four. So 11 or 
six, five, four, 11, 15, 15 damage. Uh, again, withering bonus uh, action raging. Sure. Uh, Cause it is now your turn and Azari. Oh, good. Now I'm going to hit him with my ax. <laughs> Uh, that's Zara. a natural 20. That'll be a 24 to hit. <clears throat> that's going to be 2d12s. That body is done for. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Tech Tech. <laughs> eight, yeah. eight, okay, that's uh, 18 on the 12s plus 6, you 2 for rage and 4 for strength. Yeah. Uh, so that's 24 so far. And on top of that, 6 points of radiant. So 15. Got it. Yeah, uh, non magical. <laughs> Just the uh, radiant. 38. Uh, okay, Azari, uh, you hear Dave squeal with delight and hear the axe carved through as you turn around. You see the opa opaque eyes on, and it's got to be Peck Peck's clan because they are horrible dressers. Okay. And that body is still up. Mm -hmm. After Dave's hit, oh yep. Jesus! Um, oh, well, shit. Remember, well, I guess you I'll... guys are operating at the same time. Okay, um, well, it might be dead. You don't know it yet. Okay, I'll just. I guess I'll turn and fire on it. Uh, uh, a fifteen to hit. That hits. Okay. Um. So then that's. Uh, the four. Whoop. Hold on. God, come on. Uh, five points of piercing damage. Oh, old man Jenkins is not doing good as the body falls to the ground, torn asunder in two. Uh, Rakir, who, what? Why am I a vice presidential candidate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you. Oh my God, Azari didn't eat me. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're back. <laughs> Man. Thank you. Um, I, I, I thank Ingve, um, and I guess I'm probably prone. So I'll take half my movement to get unprone. I want to take a look at that little wooden thing again, but with the intent on burning it to the ground. So I want to sure. get into a position to, to, to set it on fire. You said it was wood, correct? Correct. Very shiny wood. Very shiny wood. Well, I'll, I'll give one more look to see if I can figure out what it is, but I'm going to pull out the equipment, a uh, tinderbox and a torch. Uh, and if I have to get some of these strange paper scrolly looking things to make a little fire, then I'm going to, I'm going to do that. But I want to see if I can recognize anything there. Sure. Uh, that was uh, last time. It was like an in wisdom. Okay. It's a little bit better that time. It's a 13. Not a clue. All right, it's it's going up in smoke. Sure. Uh, you're doing that. Are you going to tell Ingve how you saved everybody's life? Yeah, I say. <laughs> look, I'm saving your asses again. You had our back. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> right here, just about to set a fire. So I tell everyone to get the F out. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Uh, the body is split asunder uh, with an arrow sticking out of it. Uh, that, that dude is deader than shit. Uh, you see a wisp of smoke headed back towards the entrance and hover right over Azari's sister, who is fortunately sitting down on the job. It's your turn uh, as I reappear. Our turn? Yep, I have reappeared, and I it looks like I'm going to grab her by the hair. Uh, I'm going to fire on the creature. And I'm going to close an attack. Seventeen? Seventeen um, hits. Damn, almost. Uh, Twenty-four hits. Yes. 12. 15 Six. points of damage, piercing damage. I've got 11 bludgeoning and 5 radiant. Uh, Dave swings for the fences. Azari's aim is true. 
just as old man Jenkins gets to her scalp, uh, the damage appears to be too much, and the smoke goes in several directions as your sister, now conscious, the axe was probably kind of a little close. Very. Uh, and at that moment, as you readjust your sight line, Peck Peck comes back into the door with a head wound. Uh, Ingve, what do you want to do? Uh... <laughs> you, you see uh, Rakir mumbling to himself, goddamn wood, blah, 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 don't know what the hell I did. <laughs> Everything's going, go away, everybody's, I'm setting this place on fire. I'm Ah, you kids! <laughs> I think the ghost has got... Unfortunately, I don't know the value of what this area is and stuff like that, so I'm just... Plus, I can summon fire, but I'm not! <laughs> I'm gonna let him go through this sure. and attempt it. And I'm just like, okay, man. Got you back. <laughs> cool. He, uh, he gets out his kit. He starts fiddling with shit and mumbling underneath his breath. Blah, blah, blah. Dave and Azari. <clears throat> eh, last time you thought you killed this thing, it reappeared. Uh, you know you got some good hits on it, but <laughs> last time that sound bitch reappeared and Peck Peck just wandered in with a head wound. Uh, I'm sorry, keep... your sister greets you. And, what is going on? Is Peck Peck's real name Larry? <laughs> Daryl. No, I'm sorry, Daryl. Daryl, <laughs> Daryl Peck Peck Jenkins. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Tucker, Tucker and or Dale. <laughs> I'm going. To, uh, I'm going to keep an arrow knocked and keep like my eyes out as soon as I. Speaking of eyes, what do Peck Peck's eyes look like? Yeah. Uh, he's got blood in one of them from the head wound. Uh, the other one, he's just kind of lumbering forward. Did Did he find the park bench? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you're, you're up there helping Rakir. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what happened, fire. Tiny? I, 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 have, I fell. He found the bench. <laughs> Bruce Willis tripped him. Uh, Rock here. Uh, Ingve's standing watch for you. He, he's going to let you burn that shit. I, I, yeah, I am so conflicted because I kind of want to see what this is, but it's just like, you know, I'm going to say, you know, man, we don't know what this is. I don't know. You said you were just going to let him do his thing. <laughs> I was. I'm going to. Rock off. here. Light this bitch. I'm going I'm to set this it on shit fire. Up. I'm going to set it on fire. Get as much of this, you know, tindering yes. and stuff like that that I could find all these. Dave's going gear. outside to see if there's anything to hit. You yeah, know, Dave, and Dave, I'm Dave's setting busy. it up. <laughs> Remember, um, Dave, I'm there's still one off. more we haven't killed. <laughs> one uh, more grew back left. Two more grew back. Two more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rock here. Whatever happens, the divine power of your abilities, the closeness of death, the gods have granted you the ability to just make an inflammatory gesture. And as you strike Flint to tinder, it connects with this wooden sphere. And that son of a bitch goes up. It is covered in about nine coats of lacquer. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> starts to glow. Uh, all the scrolls. I am powerful. Books that you tucked under there ignite. And uh, it ignites the wood along the wall. And you're like. <laughs> it's you like go. Tom Hanks. I made fire. <laughs> uh, now give me a whiz or give me an insight check, Rock here. Okay. Now that was good. That's a dirty 23, 19 plus four. That's nice. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, flames, than I thought. <laughs> the flames seem to be growing out of control at all this old parchment. Uh, Ingve. Oh, shit. That's... My back's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> you turn around, shit. and the whole end above the uh, patio area is on fire. I mean, I'm, big time fire. 
I'm like, we have got to go. And I grab his ass. Ingve <laughs> <gasps> uh, grabs a little rock here, drags him back. Dave, uh, Azari, uh, Peck Peck looks hurt, uh, but he doesn't look like he's possessed. He's still kind of mumbling, Azari, your sister's. How did you find me? Where are we? Are we home? No, we're far from home. One moment, sister. Um, I'm going to walk over to that book with all the colorful pictures in it. I'm going to close it and uh, put it in my pack and see if there's any other books nearby that might be. There are a lot of books. I mean, this is a, this is a freaking library. Uh, the book you, you have grabbed has a title on it, and it is the title... The Great Calamity by Jorge Mesk. Uh, it okay. is a thick tome uh, with brass bindings. Uh, and you and Dave. <laughs> Better kill I those smoke? Grubeck quick. It's burning. Why do I smell smoke? The Grubeck, along with the Menk and the Ba people, fuck this shit. They've seen the flames. They are running in mass out the door. Uh, who wants to D12 against me to see if Peck Peck gets run over like Wild E. Coyote? <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Sure. <laughs> All of one. Nine. Uh, Peck Peck is run over. <laughs> oh, no. The crowd no. goes back. Peck Peck. I'm oh, sorry. No. You and your sister are watching it. Dave is. Geez, Jesus Christ, uh, Dave, you turn around, the entire far end of the library is not only engulfed in fire, but it is running the length. Uh, two figures outlined in flames. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> look, pretty. Are heading oh. for the stairs. Uh, Ingve and Rakir give me two dex checks. Uh, oh. As you go down one flight and the other flight. Oh man! Okay. Dex check. Sure. Okay. Check. Let's just we'll burn check, the library check, down. Check. That's cool. Check. Check. Sixteen for the first. That is uh, fourteen for me on the first. Both of you uh, go down one zigzag. Now go down the other zigzag. <clears throat> uh, that's a thirteen for me that time. Uh, <laughs> that's a fifteen for. Ingve. Uh Rakir whoa, 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 slides down a few steps and he barely <laughs> makes it. Uh, you guys are going down. The second floor continues uh, in a great flame. I mean, everything that is legitimately flammable is caught on fire. Uh, some of the You're welcome. Some of the books and scrolls are coming up and over the side and they are rolling. There is a thick carpeting on one side. It's starting to catch on fire. Clearly, this place is going to go up in flames. Uh, the two remaining Grubeck, uh, Peck Peck's people who ran him over, uh, as well as any boss survivors, are out the door, shit in the wind. Uh, Ingve and Rakir, you make it all the way down to the ground level. Dave is... Uh, and Azari is with his sister holding this giant freaking book. Uh, Dave, what do you want to do? Peck, Peck Peck is on the ground. He's got footprints on his body. I, where they? I'll just press. grab his body and drag him outside with me. Azari? Uh, I'm going to see if I can reach and grab. Uh, I'm going to push the book into my sister's hands and say... <clears throat> take care of this get out i'll be right behind you okay and then i'm gonna see if i can grab like a few more because i've heard like i've heard my father tell me like these are in things like this are stories of other people so like that that interests him in some in some form okay uh you are able to grab four tones okay you roll a d20 i'm rolling a d12 okay 11. 12. 10. 5. 2. 20. 4. 
15. Uh, you get three books that okay. you can read. One of okay. the books, you do not know what it is. Uh, one of the books that you have grabbed is a book on botany. Okay. One, of, one of the books that you have grabbed uh, contains images of bodies that have been splayed open. Uh, oh, an, shit. An anatomy book. Uh, the third book is a religious like tome. That. Uh, that's, uh, that's what I thought uh, is from uh, the religion section and it is something about the deity Cognitus Cog Cognitus Cognitus okay. okay so you have a botany book uh, a, medicine, a medical book uh, the deity book and the great calamity by Jorge Mesk okay uh, you have seen Dave grab Peck Peck He's out the door. Your sister is stumbling towards the door. Ingve and Rakir are hauling the mail. Run! Run! <laughs> yeah, I'm going <laughs> to grab those books and, and then just make my way out the door, making sure my sister gets there first. All three of you roll a d20. If you match your number with somebody, you collide with them. So... One roll, straight up d20. Two. 19. So, and you, Ingve. What was yours, Ingve? Uh, natural 20. <laughs> you almost get run down by Rock here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your last man out. Uh, flames are dripping down. This thing is done. Uh, the only luxury is it's made of stone, so it will not catch the meadow on fire. All four of you plunge out. You have your sister, you have other members from Ba, Peck Peck, uh, still a little bit steamed about his own people trying to kill him, and two, Grubeck. Everybody watches the smoke pour out of the building, and you can hear that glass ceiling fracture. Oh, boy. As we're yeah, those two Grubeck. Yeah, I'm going to start putting the books in. I'm like, Dave, we should keep one Grubeck alive for... Oh, through back. Questioning. We surrender, man. As I said, we should keep one group back alive for questioning. <laughs> I'll walk over <laughs> and grab the other group back. One of them. Wait, Dave, before you finish this, which one of you can provide the most amount of information? They both They're, raise their well, hands. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I know everything. You lying? I, on my name is Daryl. No, I'm not lying. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll, uh, I guess I maybe an insight check on him, see if he's full of shit or if he's just trying to save his own skin. Sure. There we go. That's a 20, 30, 20. He sounded very convincing. And at that moment, the other group back reaches over. Ugh! And yeah, attempts, the knife. Huh. Attempts to kill his associate. Uh, with a 19, he Ooh. is going to stab him in the head. <gasps> uh, with a max damage. Nice. The Grubeck goes down. Uh, the other one stands up and he goes, that guy was a liar. At the very least, he couldn't survive. Got him right in the temple, right in the soft spot. Wow. Okay. Dave kicks his knee out. <laughs> Brutally. Really? Not going to lie. Azari really? is mild. He's not going to run away. Azari is mildly impressed that the other group bag, like took the other guy out. That was, that's impressive. Had, that's yeah. why I'm smashing his knee. That's gangster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's dangerous. Respect. Hit him, hit him Dave. <laughs> Respect. Like, uh, 16. <laughs> Just asked, straight. 16 gets him. Uh, he howls in pain as you hear the loud snap. Uh, he holds his uh, knee. One of Peck Peck's people comes over and kicks him in the head. Stay! 15. Uh, he connects and the Grubeck goes unconscious. Oh, oh, oh. Once again. <laughs> Sorry, once again. Respect. <laughs> uh, Dave, uh, D12 against me. Seven. Uh, nine. 
The Grubeck is alive. He is unconscious. Uh, mm. Then I'll tie him up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not going to make any effort to straighten his leg or anything. Just tie him up. Sure. Nice. <laughs> Are you going to use his own shoelace? <laughs> Whatever he's got that I can tear into strips and tie him up with. He's got other. shoelaces? He's got <laughs> shoelaces? <laughs> he, went, um, he went to the Nike outlet store, which is on the farther side of the island. You guys haven't seen oh, oh, They got Jordans? Uh, <laughs> they got Jordans. <laughs> I wanted to go to the Under Armour store. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, that that closed in lieu of uh, Walt Disney needing more space. So. Yeah. <laughs> Reasonable. Um, <laughs> they got a Marie Claire, though. Well, uh, uh, Zari will look at these. Will <clears throat> take the like the books he has, and uh, he will hand the book of botany to uh, Ingve. Uh, and he'll go. He's this has they, they, story. Dave's not much of a reader. These are uh, tomes, the stories of other people that tell. This one tells of uh, plants, and uh, they call it botany, botany, right. botany. So what? Uh, it's what Khan was on. Yeah. I, Bondi uh, Bay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I opened um, the book. Is there anything that I recognize as far as the plants? Like, am I going to go, oh, foxglove? Or... Uh, give, give me an uh, intelligence check, please. Okay. Uh, let's see. Intelligence. Uh, 19. Uh, you see some plants that you recognize. Oh, okay. Um he'll take the book on anatomy and he'll uh, walk over to uh, uh, Rakir and hand him the book. Uh, he, he looks at, he looks at Rakir and goes, maybe this will. Uh, Say she. Enhance your, uh, um, we got to find him in the bushes book. with it. You'll, you'll appreciate this book. Um, it tells of uh, the human or the, human and humanoid bodies and how they work uh, living and dead. And he hands them the book on anatomy with the pictures. I, I, I take this and, and reverently, literally reverently look up at Azaria and say, thank you so much. I Give knew you liked me. I knew you liked me. Azaria, <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. you can see like the immediate <laughs> Regret in Zari's, Zari's face for handing him the book. Um, give, give me an intelligence check, Rock here. I was saying, we're going to find. Yeah, yeah that, that's a three. Uh, and Zari, the immediate regret causes you to groan loudly. Uh, you reach over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, they were not standing on their heads. Oh, yes. thank you. Thank you, my friend. I wondered. They were all gymnasts. <laughs> um, and then he'll walk over and uh, uh, walk over to his sister and um, hold her, uh, give her a hug and just uh, and tell her everything that's been going on so that she's kind of made aware as he uh, also takes the uh takes the calamity book from her to, let me explain uh, no 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 there is too much let me sum up <laughs> <laughs> okay. let me summarize <laughs> uh tldr <laughs> uh, okay uh what do you want to do with the uh cognitus book um he'll take a quick peek at it and see what it who cognitus is or what it uh, just give like a, give me a religion check religion okay uh that's a nine not a fucking clue yeah he was just trying to see maybe he can see what cognitus is and um he'll ask anyone do any of you know of cognitus i had cognitus last night <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
I've been waiting were, uh, for that joke all night. <laughs> you, were, you were a shambler last night. You know that's what you were. <laughs> well, oh, man. Well, with that, uh, I think this is going to be a good stopping place because you yep. guys are now free of any entanglements. You, Dave has successfully bound and tortured one of the, uh, well, the only remaining uh, Grubeck. Only uh, needs mouth to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, go, go ahead and carry him around, but he was much taller. Uh, so uh, that being said, uh, Jesse, what'd you think? It was good. I was uh, I was happy that there were options uh, uh, that I actually exercised the option not to kill my sister <laughs> when I thought I might have to. I, I am uh, disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> He no, chose her out. He's not disappointed. <laughs> I like I like the options. I like the options that were presented for us. I was a little sad that I'm, well, no, I'm a lot of sad that the uh, library burned down because that's a that's a lot of that was a yeah, lot of things may, we could have. You're welcome. He yeah. doesn't <laughs> understand, but he feels a sense of loss. <laughs> oh. Like as as Azari tells everyone that that was a place of the <laughs> stories of other people that we could have learned. Uh, like I was told when I was a child before we left. They've heard no stories. They've had a shitty childhood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what would you think? Now I I I really really like that. That was uh, that was that was nice because obviously I, I I'm I'm. I'm the hero and I saved everyone. Clearly. Um, no. Clearly. <laughs> no, but but uh it, it it was nice in that exactly we had options and it and it kind of tied together nicely. You know, I mean uh uh it, it was nice to be able to really act act in character and not uh not not go I don't exactly know how to say it, but 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 the but the options worked them the options work themselves out, you know. Um, he he's uh, he's an acrobatic character. He's not that smart. He but he has street smarts. But once he makes a decision, he wants to do what he wants to do. So he's going to try to always find the angle. I mean, not exactly being like a rogue, but being a little bit more dexterous, being a little bit more, you know, climbing around and stuff like that. He's going to want to find stuff out. He just doesn't know what exactly to do with it when he finds it because he's because he's not that smart. Apparently, so, um, was the answer. Well, I mean, <laughs> he 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 saw everything go away. The the <clears throat> people start kind of coming back once when he crushed those those two stones, and then yeah. when he gets closer to the to that place, then he comes back. So it has to be some type of association with you know he came back to this place. You know, we killed him once, but he was starting to reform. So that means we have to kill everything. You know, that's that's nice, simple, you know, decision making. Yeah. It that, makes, that's good logic right there. Yeah. Take it, that it, old it, man it, Jenkins. It's 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 simple logic, <laughs> but but it's uh it uh it I, I did kind of feel it's bad logic. about uh, about all those books. But of course he doesn't know what the hell a book is, you know. So uh book is uh Kindling is apparently what that is. Kindling, apparently. kindling, exactly. This is all this firewood. It's an old here. term for great fire or <laughs> large conflagration. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, David, what'd you think? I I enjoyed it. Uh, it was a lot of fun, you know. So yeah, I was the heel bot, but hey, it came in handy. <laughs> Saved my ass. Uh, that's for sure. Rock, rock here, that close. Uh, that close. <laughs> Uh, that goes to playing a bard. <laughs> <laughs> what of the Grubeck is now? <laughs> exactly. Uh, Rob, um, what'd you think? I think altogether I took like uh, 36 <laughs> points of damage, but thanks to Dave's heel bot, I'm still here. Um, that was awesome. Uh, yeah. Really awesome. Well, Different kind of fights just make it a lot more fun, and there were other things to do. Uh, Dave, Dave doesn't care about the books because he has no idea. They, they're they're kind of like wood, but not really wood. So portable. They burn way too fast to be useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to give you guys options, especially facing off with the BBG. So uh, I thought it worked out well. Can't uh, cook anything with wood burns that fast. 
That's true. <laughs> uh, folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit. Join our Discord uh, if you want to be on a show like next Saturday's One Shot or on Tuesday on the talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Hit us up. We will get you on there. I think we might have one, maybe two new ones. I'm not positive on that, but if you want to play, uh, hit us up. Let us know. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for uh, I didn't use Big Red tonight. I was using the Crystal Entity, and it was beating the shit out of Fucked us up quite uh, enough, thanks. Yeah. I, I, I just wish I could have aged them, uh, which was sad. So if you want some customized dice, check out at Pirate Dog Dice. Remember, if your game stinks like uh, old burning library, <laughs> uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe get a different scent from Adventure yeah. Sense. They got a lot to choose from, but the Tinderbox library... Uh, there are better yeah. scents out there. Also, uh, check out their shine system so that you can write gooder than me. Uh, and also, don't forget, honest to God, murderhobocon.com. Uh, virtual world, it's going to feel like a real convention. Uh, uh, David and I talked to uh, an individual who's uh, going to help us out. He's uh, got a band. Uh, when we showed him what this was, the light bulb kicks on. So, folks, uh, there's a link to a preview. The preview does not do it justice, but check the preview. Uh, you will be amazed at what we have discovered. Not, uh, we aren't taking credit for it. Uh, we're just trying to bring it to you. So, MurderHoboCon.com. DMGM seminar and panelist submissions are open. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. We hope you had as much time as Rakir's uh, concussion <laughs> did. Uh, join us Tuesday for the talk show. I think we're talking about Tiefwings or Azimar or I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're talking about something. Uh, let's do the uh, dating game Kiss and Wave. Bye, everybody. Uh, bye, everybody. <laughs>